Hello everyone. In this video tonight, let's do a reading about what will happen in the month of July in your life. We will do a cross, uh, like a Celtic cross, but a little bit uh, enhanced, uh, changed. And we will ask also about your home life, your career, your love life, and what's happening outside the house. So if you'd like to to see uh, what will happen in the month of July, please think of yourself, your life, and choose a deck. I have four different decks here. Number one, two, three, and four. Enter your time, please. Okay, have it chosen so let's start with our deck number one <clears throat> a black horse deck okay so these are playing cards, 52 playing cards, but I'm going to read them like tarot cards, okay, without the major arcana. Um, I kind of uh, didn't read like this from the beginning, but I kind of changed the way I read. Now it's kind of growing and changing and evolving. So all the systems that I read with become... Uh, very similar, you know, inter interconnected somehow. Okay, so let's have a look. What will your energy be in the month of July? Where will you be focusing? Well, this is the Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts uh, usually is a lovely woman, a good woman, a good person. She concentrates on her home life, on her family, creativity, helping others, you know, think, being empathic with others. And, of course, it can be spirituality. Basically, overall, it's a very good card. It shows that you will be positive and gentle, and um, this is pretty good, okay? It can be a woman in love. For example, you'll be the woman in love. Or it can be that if you're a male person, if you're a man, then uh, you will be thinking all the time about some female. And that's why this female's <clears throat> energy will be kind of in your energy. So when we read about you, the female's card will come out. So what will be your biggest challenge? Again, a romantic card. It can be relationships it can be about giving to others about being nice it can be relatives friends you know um you know about you think how to help you know charity it can be intimacy love you know all that stuff what will you be thinking about most of the time Okay, two of spades uh, talks about some sort of separation, some sort of a little bit of a sad things, some losses, some unpleasant news, things like that. So although you're very happy and there will be something that's bothering you and maybe you'll be uh, not happy that this happiness might end, there'll be some minor worry. I don't know yet... Uh, what is it related the king of spades it might be uh coming from your ex a person with whom you don't uh sorry meet anymore and they might kind of annoy you you know send bad messages or simply spoil your mood you know now let's have a look at what you're solving what what you know Okay, seven of uh, clubs can represent some sort of positive changes, you know, it looks like many changes right now and you know about them. It can be that you're successfully able to defend yourself when, um, you know, in life's, against life's obstacles and people and other people's opinions and 
you know, it can also symbolize something not very pleasant things, you know, related with family, related with people, things are coming from outside, you know, like, uh, let's say family members are trying to fight with you and you kind of, you got it, you know, because these cars are downstairs, so to say, so you got the situation and I think you were conscious of the situation, trying to manage the situation. So what will be in your past? Okay, four of hearts. It can uh, talk about um, some sort of boredom or things that, um, for example, sad thoughts, you know, self thinking about yourself, being sorry about yourself or yourself, you know, some sort of um, very dreams, you know, unrealistic things, you know, these things kind of in the past, you know. Now, what about the future? Where will this month be looking at? Or of... So, look, this is good. This is very good. It means that if you have illness or <clears throat> if you have a depression, that means you'll fight uh, to get out from that situation or that state. If you've been stuck, that means you'll be trying to fight and get out from the stuckness, you know. Also, it shows that this is kind of a card of action, you know, when you're taking action, uh, when you're not agreeing with what life is sending you and you're saying, I'm going to fight this. Okay. So, now, so we have this kind of situation, uh, which is very good. Um, I think, well, it can talk about any type of area which area will we be well usually again relationships maybe if you felt like you've been cornered by someone or like people are not mm, supporting you so you will decide to take things in your own hands and fight for that it can be it's related you know um with relationships with other people you know something with opportunity um, with time, something quickly, quickly have to do. It can be some sort of activities like work or home activities, you know, things that you do every day, you know, so you will be maybe taking more action when it comes to work and looking into the future more, you know. Uh, and more optimistic, a little bit improvement. I'm not saying a lot of changes, but good. Now, let's have a look at your family life, where you live right now in the house. Uh, what's happening? How will it go? Okay, so we have here, we have um, a woman queen of spades who is usually sad and unsatisfied with things uh, she might be hateful a little bit and um, maybe worried maybe um, maybe worried about some loss you know and um, and we, sh we have that situation a woman who is sad in the house in the family so she might be worried about money she might be worried about some sort of um, overall, some sort of mental state of hers, you know, so things like that. Or can be worried about everything a little bit. It can be an old mother, a grandmother, it can be even a wife who is always moody, <laughs> you know. It can be you who is depressed, you know. People like who are sad, they usually tend to be shown as the spade card so we have that sort of situation here and now let's have a look at uh, outside the home if you go out if you get to go out so how will it be outside the house and not at work it's like more likely friends and, and things like that what is your social life Okay, social butterflies here. Um, okay, so yes, I would say you come out of the house, you go out of the house, and 
you uh, these cards are showing some sort of shopping and some sort of communication with people you know and being busy and doing things and maybe even earning money outside the house you know so choose that you will be outside the house you'll make money you know it can be simply socializing and you know um something is up you know some sort of gamble mm -hmm. some sort of work some sort of business something is happening there and of course for that business there should be a crowd people and things like that so i think you have to go out to earn money to be honest so you will be going out and earning money now let's have a look at your career your work So let's have a look at your career. Two of hearts. For okay, very good. Um, career-wise, so we have like you're doing what you love with the two of hearts, and uh, there is you know good either company or blog or website or YouTube channel, you know, and it shows that you're starting something new or that it's something refreshing is going on or new money is coming there. So some sort of maybe starting with your partner, it can be that uh, you two, two people are doing some sort of work on um, on a blog or something. And it's a real, very good opportunity. It's a money bringing opportunity. It's a, a life changing opportunity, something fresh and new and very, very nice. So this is a very good um, combination. It can also symbolize publishing a new book, publishing a new something you know very very good and let's have a look at your love life in july okay dark cards start here okay not so dark okay dark <laughs> okay so we have depression over love basically this is your jack of hearts which is supposed to represent love is squashed by two black cards the jack of spades and nine of spades which is like nine of swords and tarot is basically crying over a loved one someone cheated maybe someone was not nice someone said something you know something didn't work out you cannot trust anybody you know and it's basically all bad it's not bad it's pain, emotional pain okay it's emotional pain it can be also imaginative it doesn't have to be real but there is a blacker cards than anywhere else so i would say there's a little bit of pain going on when we talk about emotional uh, love life hmm. what is the advice for you um, so advice for you saying that uh, you know some relationships uh, it depends you know it can be being upset about the existing relationship or, or it can be being upset about for example your partner said something and you're upset but it can be about a lost relationship also for example you propose someone and they said no so these cards came but the advice is basically to 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 see somehow this as a process you know as something you have to work on uh it's it shows that it's it is a partnership it is a love relation but it's not one of those easy ones it's a little bit of a burden it's a little bit of a work and it, it needs to be approached like work like something that doesn't happen overnight you have to work on it you have to think how to do how to maneuver throughout it okay so also let's ask about your spirituality means how is your spiritual life going um Okay, oi. Okay, so you can see these black spades here in your spirituality. So either they mean a very high, heightened spiritual life and heightened experiences. Uh, it can be even for people who are very spiritual and work with their spirit guides, so spades come out. Um, these are very powerful cards, you know. Um, so sometimes they show a very heightened some sort of experience it can be being connected with the dead people for example with the past spirit, uh, past loved ones so these cards come can also be um of course these all cards just mean heartbreak you know 
ending death you know and uh illness and bondage can be worse <laughs> you know if, if we look at it like that but this card i don't think it's bad it's either some sort of very strong connection with the afterlife or it's like really something like spiritual life is really going not going well uh, like some big trauma or something is stopping you from experiencing but I for example for some reason feeling lots of power here and lots of connection to the spirit with these cards because for me the speed is a connection with the past loved ones more than the hearts or equally as hearts I can't explain so please let me know let share in the comments what do you think about this is what's happening spiritually that we have such a black cards okay and let's have a look at your health um okay so with health also we have some sort of uh, something heightened something is happening uh can talk about heart uh can talk about um liquids in your body blood uh, something something you can for some people might talk visiting a hospital you know or getting a prescription for some something uh, or you know so i don't want to i feel like too many hearts are here too strong hearts you can talk about hormones you can talk about blood heart you can talk about you know all these uh, you know endocrine gland and all these you know centers that rule uh, liquids and blood and circulation and all that things all those things so and i feel that you have to make decisions about your health uh, at some point maybe changes because aces are there it can talk about big changes that you need to make when we talk about your health so yeah so um, cannot <clears throat> say anything more precise here and let's see what is the general advice here this month in july okay so we have uh, like a, a focus some sort of be careful not to get angry i feel first don't be careful not to get angry uh there may be many opportunities that will kind of make you angry uh and it's very uh, good for career these cards are very career oriented maybe the i don't know about astrology i don't know astrology at all but maybe the planets are like that as well you know sometimes um saying that it's the best time for you to do career and learn things and grow and grow as an expert in whatever job you do so this is the um the advice for you now okay so this was our reading number one now let's move on to our reading number two and please share in the comments so how did you find this reading what do you think about this reading and uh, about those spades i'm really curious uh, spirituality three spades um what does it mean is it really heightened spiritual experience or is it something negative like absolute like block or something <clears throat> okay so let's move on to our deck number two it's our i forgot the name the galaxy deck Okay, I forgot the name of this deck. So let's have a look. What will your energy be in the month of July? What will you feel like? Again, the Queen of Hearts, the same like in the previous reading. Okay, so you will feel yourself more, you will feel um, emotional, you will feel loving, you might want to connect to your true self, you know, more. 
it's wanting to be a good person, wanting to please others, wanting to take care of others, wanting to be charitable, altruistic person, you know, maybe meditating, praying more than usual. So being emotional also, maybe being a mother more than normal, being a good wife, for example, or it can be being romantic or think being in love. Or if you're a male person, it can be that, you know, you you will be thinking about uh, uh, your love and therefore your energy will be um, mixed with that energy of that woman that you're thinking about. So what is the challenge here? What is the, what will be the biggest worry, biggest challenge in July? It's like this is like that okay seven of hearts is can be um thoughts mean lots of thinking lots of dreaming lots of living not in this world maybe um not being very ground grounded also can point to having a very good love life so it's a bit um lightheaded you know it's a bit like you know dreamy not like thinking, doing creative stuff, maybe that sort of relaxed, you can say. So what will be a bit, and this can be a problem because that is in a challenge position. So what you're gonna think about, what, what's your thoughts, um, what you're gonna thoughts be in July? So we have the Ace of Clubs, which is most likely focusing on something new, trying to understand, um, uh, to decide something, you know, to start something or get on with something, you know, like um, a project or idea or something, you know. You want to get over the beginning of something. Yeah, well, maybe it's related with your business, your work, your um, earning money, you know, you need to come up with some sort of idea or decision and you will be trying to think a lot and dream and meditate a lot, like brain brainstorm and things like that. Um, when this comes like that, I feel like it's, um, you want to just do something complete something you know so so yeah it can be sometimes something related around with things around your house something with the buildings and offices and houses you know that sort of thing now what is under you means what have you got what what are you dealing with some sort of unpleasant Let's see, someone said something, or it can be even loss, loss of job or money, or you had to share your money with someone, or unpleasant uh, situations at home, we can see. Unpleasant situations at home, it can be even some sort of financial, and it can be also things not related to you personally. It can be, for example, the world economy, or the way things are in the world right now, you know, you might be like kind of annoyed about it and worried, but you're accepting it already because it's here. You're not thinking about it anymore. You're accepting it. So what happened to you? We have a, a male person. So we have people. You might have had some sort of important uh conversations with um with some active persons most likely male uh, maybe they caused you a little bit of stress you had to look good when talking to them you had to you were tense while talking to them you know can be this oh look 
so we have the three people of the same suit it can be that this was a family some sort of meeting or a let's say a wife husband and a child three people that were spending time together maybe playing together cooking together talking together so this is about you three doing things together so that's what's in the past what will happen in the future Okay, in the future we have uh, something exciting happening um, it can be moving to your like home other home like if you're living uh, I don't know if you're at home now let's say if you're in your own country or not these cards can talk about moving to another home but I don't know if you are coming back to your own home uh, from another place or are you moving to another place from your home or you're moving to your own home country from somewhere so cards are like can indicate about some sort of travel can talk about travel very far travel by plane for, uh, distant travel and um, of course all the emotions associated with that well if you don't plan to travel if I'm getting anything wrong it simply talks about um, a pleasant time talking with people watching movies you know things like that but still we have some sort of shift and change and moving energy in the future good things being busy you know busy energy now let's see what's happening in your home we talked about home so much queen of diamonds so we have basically being um, queen of diamonds could be a woman who or, or a man sometimes uh, who who take care of the house you know who are like a housewife cooking and cleaning and doing everything and keeping the house together and um, you know keeping the people together and it's you know and it's a struggle it can be hard at times to to do that, you know. Uh, so that sort of situation it can be even reading books or studying at home or working from home, uh, because we have these like books or blogs or or websites, something like and like working, you know. And intellectually working towards it so it doesn't show other people here but it shows some sort of lots of intellectual activity lots of focus lots of can be physical as well like cleaning the house but can be also studying or learning or working so let's have a look now uh, outside the home what's happening outside the home so it seems like um, like you're not having a life. Let's see, you abandon your the city, you abandon the work. You know the usual things you used to do. Don't do that as much. You know we have that abandonment. I, I interpret this as the Eight of Cups from Tarot. That's why. So let's see. Um, at your career let's have a look at your career okay we have queen of spades king of spades and three of hearts so i feel like um there is you're working because there's a lot a big group of people where you work and we have the queen of spades and the king of spades so it can be um you work under a couple who like uh, husband and wife who are doctors for example and they have this office and you work there so some sort of uh, couple owns that company maybe you are and your husband who knows and lots of people all of you basically you interact with each other and something's going on in that office and i feel that it's very active like lots of is happening so you work I would say your work you're working uh, in July yeah you'll be working and meeting people from work uh, or because of work what about your love life ok 
Okay, so we have a, um, a person existing in your relationship, love relationship. There is a man, can be a husband, can be a partner, a man who is like your um, loved one. And uh, there is a little bit of sadness related to that, uh, sad thoughts, you know, uh, a little bit of, you know, annoy annoyance going, a little bit of fighting going, a little bit of, I wouldn't say fighting, but arguments, discussions, things like that. Uh, a little bit, I feel he's looking at this five of hearts. So I would say he's focusing on the sad side of what the, you don't have in the relationship rather than what you have. And he's kind of maybe a little bit uh, sad or introverted and avoids talking, you know, that sort of thing. So, but how can, what can we do about that? How can we fix that? Okay, Seven of Diamonds is the card of kind of gifts and um, you can cook for, for them, you can buy something for them, you can do something good about money, earn, save, I don't know. So, and basically it shows uh, doing something nice for that person. It can be also um, physical something, relationships, intimacy, for example. So let's see, let's have a look at your spirituality. What will happen in your spirituality in July? Means a spiritual path. And uh, so very interesting cards. Why in spirituality I'm getting these spades all the time? I feel it's usually it's very unusual that person gets spades in spirituality. That means you, uh, logically. Um, if we look at it, it means that person is not developing at all spiritually, the person is evil, like some serial killer, you know, but, um, but this is not the case. I think what it talks about is some sort of big transformation on the um, mental level, and maybe everybody's transforming. It's like, it's like these cards literally show, talk about some worries about your body, uh, that uh, expand your consciousness, uh, pains and fears uh, sur surrounding your physical body, you know, you might even feel like what's happening to me, I cannot sleep, I cannot eat, you know, everything is hurting, you know, so what's happening to me, but these cards are showing that uh, this something spiritually has a meaning, it's, it's for growth, Something is important happening, and it's not only for you, it's for everyone. Everybody's got these pains, and it means changes and some sort of people starting to think deeply and about what's happening to them, you know. And it's kind of, it has to mean, I don't know yet, we'll have to see, you know. If you know what's happening to you, if you can feel, if it's something even you feel pains in your physical body, but these pains are necessary uh, for your spiritual growth. For example, you see that after the pain started, you started appreciating life more, people more, things like that, and you start to becoming a better person. You started getting rid of things that you don't need, you know, um, something like that. So share in the comments if you know what is happening here. If you know, okay, let's see what will your health be like. Okay, we have lots of tiredness and uh, l lots of overwork. Uh, can be physical responsibilities around the house, you know, doing things and uh, might like working, 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 and simply uh, even not being able to focus very well with your mind uh, like being a little bit so tired that you cannot even think properly you know at the end of the day like you're um like you're drunk because you're so tired so it's the only thing that lots of stress on the body nerves and things like that so 
um, it can say you know be careful it can be bad for your nerves and can be bad for anxiety it can be bad for your body just you know what to do okay ace of spades ace of spades is the card of death and it, it doesn't mean that it means as an advice it means uh, slow down lay down on the bed and have a good sleep or a good rest it has to be less activity I feel um, okay so what is advice for you in July what is the advice for you in July Wow so it can be that in July advice for you is to think more about other people about your relationships with other people and uh, forget all those hurts and bad things that people said or did you know um, so you need to get over that like you know be on the lighter side be that wise person who can do this so if you can talk about uh, that sort of thing even if you feel that some people mistreated you because you know some people who you love mistreated you and hurt you I think it's still a good idea to um, focus on how to forgive, focus on how to resolve things, not to hate on, not to keep that uh, thing, you know, it just sometimes happens by mistake, you know, these things, so I think these cards talk about forgiving, even though someone might have even cheated on someone, if, even though uh, someone was really, truly wrong, it's still the advice I feel here is to forgive that person or persons or countries, I don't know, some sort of love in a difficult time is there. Also, it, it can talk about, uh, yeah, that's all, that's, that's it. So, thank you for watching this reading. I hope you have a wonderful month of July and please share in the comments what experiences you're having and what, what do these spade cards in the spirituality section mean because um, I personally got those and I know other people also and I wonder what that means because I know for sure that it's a positive sign okay so let's have a look at our deck number three it's bourbon tarot uh, playing card deck it's it has bottle on the back side but it has very beautiful design so hope no one minds the bottle so let's have a look what will your energy be in the month of july Okay, Ace of Spades. Well, Ace of Spades is a tru truly um, very clear card, clear cutting card. It talks about change. It talks about decisions. It talks about something really will change or you will decide something that will change the life or it shows that you will uh, reach the bottom of the well you'll fall like the sense of you reaching the lowest that can be reached uh, mentally and uh, sometimes physically some sort of darkness uh, after which some sort of new thing starts so it's like you know it can be also a complete change in life for example you you're changing your job, you're changing your country, changing where you live, you're, you're di divorcing someone, you know, you're deciding to take up a new course in the university or a new something. So it can be all that. Also, it can talk about being in the dark. And I still don't know. We have to pull more cards. So what will be a biggest challenge? Five of diamonds. Well, here it can be a truly difficult time. Here it can talk uh, mentally, uh, challenges uh, like uh, mental health. 
um, for example, dealing with some sort of depression, some things. For other people, it can be financial challenge, like challenging poverty, bankruptcy, or something like that. Loss of job, loss of money. Um, for other people, it can be challenge of uh, losing their health and trying to deal with pain and you know things that uncom discomfort that's associated with bad health for someone can be also uh losing a relationship you know and having to deal with um breaking relationship yeah so it's like a tower card you can see oh it's like very you know changing kind of so yeah, or it can be that you'll have to make decisions because of the situations and how to go about them. So, but let's let's see what else. Let's see. We'll ask for advice at the end of the reading. What will be on your mind? So most likely, um, it can be heal healing. It can be family. It can be overall happiness. It can be a word about your family, um, it can be you're worried about many people in the world and their sadness is making you feel sick, you know, it can be that you're so empathic person, you worry about other people or things that are happening, it can be something... Uh, Many people not having a job, for example, you are not feeling well, you know, you feel like there's something wrong with you, you know, basically that sort of thoughts, those sort of thoughts, like everything that went very fine suddenly is very bad and what will happen now, you know, it can be that sort of worry about other people mo mo mostly. For some people, maybe worrying about their partner having an affair, you know, things like that. So let's see, um, what do you know? What do you know? So you focusing on your work, um, you know what you have to do, you know your routine, and you're just trying to live simple. You're, you're whatever the inside you, you feel overwhelmed, but from outside, you're trying to keep up with the daily routine that you've always had, your work, your chores, you know, your things, and you seem to be fine for other people, but you're feeling the sense of loss all the time, like it's behind your back, you know, you're feeling uh, sadness, some sort of like, some unhappiness, but nevertheless, you're trying to live, do your best to do, do your best, yeah, and... Uh, and it's normal we have changes going on so what happened so what happened basically is I think maybe your partner told you something or said something or looked the wrong way or something like that happened so I feel an insult by a loved one uh, an insult by a loved one most likely a family member maybe a husband and you know it can be for some people uh, someone is ill someone is not well uh, maybe you're not well or maybe your partner is not well someone is sick for example it can be also that so there are two meanings it can be more meanings i'm sure of that but what will happen in July so as you can see we have um, lots of people happening lo meeting lots of people communicating with lots of people most likely it's gonna be in the financial area and uh, some important people will make a decision for you or uh, it can be government officials it can be some sort of business people you know, I feel like influence of someone in your life. But who are these people? I feel authority is there. Authority is there. Rich 
people are there, big amounts of money. Uh, maybe it's a government. And your spread is being shown because maybe you're worried about the future of the country or the future of many people. And it can be shown that um, some sort of government decision about money and work, jobs and, and products, something like that. So there will be lots of... If you're worried about losing your money, the money will be paid back to you. You know, I feel like someone will decide, uh, like your bosses or someone, I don't know, they'll meet and they'll decide that they have to pay you your money because you're not happy. It can, something uh, like that. Now, let's see what's in your family. What's happening in your family? Okay, in your family, we have, uh, you might be buying lots of things. You might be buying lots of things for the house. You might be trying to communicate with your family members. But most likely, let's say buying a new house or uh, buying new things, ordering things online, you know, lots of shopping, lots of gifts, uh, that sort of thing. Now, let's see... Uh, Let's have a look at what's outside the house. Outside the house, we have again um, fun, uh, fun, happiness, and again, can be some sort of shopping, fulfilling of dreams, you know, doing things you love. It can be that you're not uh, directly outside yet, fully outside, but you're dreaming and thinking and planning what would you do if you were. Um, if the lockdown is over and you would be outside, then what would you do? You know, so these cards can talk about kind of hopes and dreams and fantasies and expectations and plans. You know, they all talk about kind of looking into the future and thinking about things. Now, let's have a look at your work. How will your work be? And this month in july okay so look we have this again card of either argument or loss uh some sort of fallout with some um, colleague or someone like maybe you will be paid less or not be paid or the payment will be delayed or maybe um it can be temporary it can be um, most likely will not be paid the whole money and it's gonna you're gonna talk to someone from your work about this so there's a little bit of disappointment and annoyance over money when it comes to your work but you get paid in the future so it's okay maybe it's something new new job or new way uh, of being paid or uh, I'm not sure about this why is it here like that and here we have good cards in the future but so don't take this seriously because I think that can be a mistake that will be fixed or it can be just a conversation they might have sent you a letter that they will not pay you but later the, com the company bosses they will meet and decide they will pay you something like that Let's have a look now at your love life in July. Okay, so we have this, again, bad card, so to say. It can be um, really you're overthinking about, you may be about, you know, your partner. You might be thinking they're cheating. It can be just imagination. It can be no no sex life happening and and there is bitter feelings also bitter feelings and overthinking a little of paranoia. It's like idle mind is the devil's worship. I feel with this card is very um like like anger but not based on facts, you know, so you're imagining that maybe the partner did something 
and they're cheating or something. So very dull thoughts about the love life, really feeling pain and bitterness and I don't know why. So what is advice when it comes to love life? Well, I think Six of Hearts talks about everything being okay, but sometimes you need to initiate, you need to show that person that you love them too and that you know be nice and just you know everything is fine basically i feel it's just your some sort of thoughts now let's have a look at spirituality what's happening spiritually in, in your life oh we have hearts so we have lots of uh, maybe enjoyment because of uh, because you belong to a group uh, because other people make you happy it can be um, you have a purpose you feel you have a purpose in life and you found your path or something or it can be very great thoughts it's pure joy and happiness and enjoyment of every bit that you can have spiritually i feel uh, coming some sort of realization that you know your purpose that you know what you have to do now you know what you want now and you you want to serve people i feel and that's your purpose so that sort of feeling we get here also can be um maybe you you want to um, create a group or uh, a church or a building or something where there will be many people and it's going to be very happy so i don't know what exactly that is but some sort of happy goal like spiritually you're living your goal you know so let's uh, see now about your health um i'm not super good at health readings but we're just gonna look if it's red cards or black cards so we do have uh, some sort of interest in health and kind of maybe health and beauty shop shopping i don't have any negativity come going when it comes to health i feel you you like to indulge and kind of reward yourself with things maybe you just decided to eat healthy diet or you decided to or you tried the diet and it's already working and you're happy maybe there are some sort of elements of healing or you know you know, maybe uh, you're shopping some sort of, um, how to put it, vitamins and, you know, supplements. Something like very positive outlook towards your health, very hopeful and very kind of good. So I think um, maybe because we had this kind of ace of spades in the middle, like your energy. So maybe you're like being reborn right now. Things are getting better for you, you know. In in July, maybe it's like a transformational month, you know. And we could see that in the cards. So what is advice for you then? Sorry. What is advice uh, for you in July? So again, the card's talking about finishing something off, not doing something. I feel there is a part of maybe uh, where you stress out about or communicate with people too much somewhere that's making you spend too much time or it can be totally uh, being on social media too much or being worried about what's happening on social media too much and uh, maybe being worried about not knowing enough and not having read too much books or not having achieved too much you know like in life so i think it says let it all go let it all go you know just quit it you know like some sort of re release is needed some sort of relaxation is needed some sort of sleep is needed like um so we have that sort of um uh, don't do anything you don't want to or it's what's too stressful you know focus on uh, how to say that those hopes and dreams that you have and um, you know i feel that there is some sort of it's a time to get rid of unnecessary things you know and 
this month you know it's necessary time it's good time and it's necessary <laughs> to get rid of um, thoughts and preoccupations that you know waste your time and so something like that we have don't do anything too much don't spend too much energy on things that are not important and everything will be okay and i think like your life is changing here you know like you're absolutely from a very low you're rising into very high and spiritually actually it says that you found a purpose through this you i don't know if you feel it or not uh, but these are very good cards it's like your your soul is being realized your spirit is being realized you're living what your theme your path you know and even health is very good you know here so i don't know the this the word worries uh, i don't know exactly what it is about but it can be about other people and uh, the world you know the the whole big big cards here so it can be about schools and countries and poor people it can be about environment and it can be everything you know so yeah th this was our reading number three i will continue with the reading number four in the next video because i don't know if i will have enough time here um okay so Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful month and see you later.